cause you couldn't keep it solid. Funny how they link up with your ops when y'all fall out. But I'ma let y'all have that bum shit while I ball out. Don't have a fuck to give about you hoes, bitch, I'm all out. Crossing right out of the picture like a fucking crap out. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sassy, and I'm back with another one straight facts if you haven't already make sure you drop those comments down below subscribe to this beautiful lovely channel make sure you hit the bell on the side to get notified when the girl post and what last but not least make sure you like this video up like this one this one this one this one the last one and the last one before that do those steps for me and for the whole team so as you guys can tell by the title um you already know what i'm about to do um so i'm about to do basically do um a girl's a girls talk topic or whatever the case may be um blah, blah, blah. maybe about two two and a half weeks ago i posted on my instagram to give me some girl topics um like to talk about or whatever like if you with your friend or like y'all in a car and y'all just discussing like girl topics or just talking it up or whatever chit chatting it up or whatever the case may be you know some different topics that y'all wanted me to touch on so um i'm about basically about to get it straight into this video but you know before i get into the video i want y'all to comment down below what was y'all favorite part once y'all watch it um make sure y'all make sure y'all comment down below who y'all want me to collab with like i said in the previous video um and let me know you know and also comment down below then some next some next videos y'all want me to do so anything y'all want me to do i think i got some um some videos i want to do when i go to my vacation y'all see that on the next probably the next two videos um if possible but first question was trying to impress someone so i don't know if trying to impress someone is for a boyfriend or trying to impress someone as a friend um but i feel like on both perspectives i feel like you should just be yourself um because you never know like who you who you might come across it's like you know you don't try to like overdo it like okay i'm gonna bend over i'm a i'm gonna put some extra lip gloss on i'm gonna put maybe two strips of lashes on i'm a uh i'm gonna go do this and this and all of this or whatever for this boy and he might even he might not even be fucking with you like that he might he might not even like you like that or whatever the case may be so i just basically um i'm speaking on my perspective i just basically be myself i don't try to overdo it i because i know how i am i'm very blunt i'm very outgoing um i'm myself so i don't try hard to impress nobody i just be myself like that's that's the best way to be you know yourself so it's like you know who, you know what you can and cannot do so i just would say be yourself um i wouldn't impress nobody um i feel like it's crazy like well not it's crazy but like um impressing if you trying to impress someone i feel like it got its pros and cons like if you're trying to basically i would say get this board number and like you going all out of your way you flirting you going what he work at i feel like that's cute like that's in a little cute stage but like if you're trying to impress someone as far as like you trying to like like friendship wise if you're trying to impress someone as far as like wanting to fit in uh wanting to be somebody that you're not it's no it's no point there's no point i feel like it's that's dumb and i feel like it's just a waste of time to me Okay, the next question is, um, what is your, your biggest deal breaker in a relationship? So, my biggest deal breaker, I haven't experienced a real, real, well, I have, but it didn't last long because I cut it off. But my deal breakers are if we, if we, if y'all see me looking up, I'm just looking at the fucking road because the road right there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so my biggest deal breakers are, um, I just had it in my head. My biggest deal breakers are like if people, if someone is not goal oriented, it's like how I am. Like if you just like just going about the flow, you not you don't have no type of no type of drive, or you just like like you just living life. You don't have no type of goal. You don't have no type of drive. It's just like damn, like what like what we doing here? Like you 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 gotta match my goal. You gotta match you gotta match my drive. If I'm you know, yeah, you, you might you may have some struggling days or whatever, but if I'm going to get it, if I'm a, like going to get it, if I'm, you know, very motivated, if I'm got if I got a job, if I'm in school, I'm not saying you got to match what I'm doing. I'm saying you got to have some type of some type of goal like you got to be trying to achieve something. It, like you can't just sit around on your ass and not provide or not do anything. Like that's just boring. And I know as a person, I will feel bored with that. I cannot do that. I'm not a person that keeps still like that. So I got to like be on the go sometimes like, but yeah, that and 
cheating like um luckily i never had that happen to me but i know like i'll be pissed off like i'll be i'll be like bitch one and done one and done like bitch you cut off you is fucking cut off i don't do that shit like i if i'm in a relationship and i'm with you i'm with you it's no sense for you to cheat um some girl some girls do it some guys do it but to me it's dumb and i just it's a waste of time to me like for real like why you over here wasting my time why i'm over here wasting your time y'all they got to fly see uh-uh see that's the thing about the fucking country and shit get the fuck you about to gonna get the fuck out of here go anyway yeah any so yeah that it's fucking let me blow my window it's fucking hot it is fucking hot bitch i can't see but um but yeah so so yeah so i would consider that those two being my deal breaker um flirting you know that all, all that shit like all that shit is dumb and it's for the birds to me um so yeah that all my deal that those two are my main deal breakers um y'all so i have a thing about like tea yeah yeah i gotta think <laughs> i gotta think about teeth like if your teeth not if you got some fucked up teeth you just don't even talk to me like fucked up ass teeth and stink ass bread i said that in my last video when i told y'all i like my gum like if you got some stink ass bread that's a fucking turn off and messed up ass teeth like I know somebody might have a gap, but if your your teeth fucking chop, like when I tell you chop the fuck up, like bitch, don't talk to me. And it's just bad. Like I I just don't be wanna waste nobody's time. Like it's not giving what it's supposed to give, okay? But um okay, the next one is what was your best thing about when you was growing up in New Orleans? Um my best thing is yes, I did live in the seven wall and i did live in the east and those was the best times y'all like when i stayed before katrina no when before katrina i stayed in the seven wall and i stayed in the east on viola street if y'all know then y'all know but on um, in the seven wall i stayed on Dirge wall and when i tell y'all those those was the best times like we used to be out I, I was in a music video i'm gonna put the um the video right here um so y'all can see what video i was in but i was in a music video i think i was maybe about six or seven when we stayed in the seven wall um it was going to make down to 42 that was my fucking school i had a little boyfriend we used to stay out like everybody on that little block knew everybody i used to date this little boy his name was jimmy um and he was my little he was he was my little he was my little my little boo back then and it in the the way it flowed was so perfect but like my childhood growing up and then when we stayed on viola me my sister and one of the our two friends that stayed across the street we used to have a clubhouse i forgot what the clubhouse was but like i know every other friday we used to go you know get money from our parents and go to this little chinese place on the corner it's like a little strip corner store um like on the wire um when you leave it out of viola when you leave it off viola street you make that left and it, i don't know yeah it's still there but i don't know if the food place did that but we used to go get chicken and shrimp fried rice and we used to go in the back and i would on in our club house and we used to always like all split it man those are the best times before katrina was lit but um and after katrina a little i had a good childhood i ain't even gonna lie i had a fun ass childhood i wish i could go back i stayed having sleepovers at hotels my mom used to stay on me um sleepovers at hotels like it used to be fucking lit but okay the next one is what do you like most about yourself i like my personality well <laughs> the next question is what do you like most about yourself i like my personality um hmm. yeah i like my personality i like the fact that um i'm goal driven i like the fact that i have a, a good heart um but that sometimes that good heart can bite you in the fucking ass but i like that um i like my physique 
I like, like, you know, my body shape. It could be a little better. I ain't gonna lie. It could be how it used to be back in high school. But, um, but yes, I like, I like that, um, I'm very independent. I love being independent. It's the best thing ever. Like, sometimes, yeah, you need that, that help a little along the way or whatever to get where you need to be at. But when, when you finally, like, set and you finally, like, comfortable with your living, your living style, like, it's, it's a comfortable, it's a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling okay um the next one is guys and them not caring about our feelings so um how do i feel about this so when i was at telling my cousin this my cousin was saying um you basically she was like basically treat them how you treat how, treat them how they treat us i feel like that but i also don't because you don't fight fight with fire just like a friendship you don't fight 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 fire with fire um guys and them not caring about our feelings it's really fucked up it's, it i feel like it's fucked up to be honest with you like you know we go so hard and we try so hard to be in these relationships um we we try to have that friend stage or whatever case may be but it's like after a while it's like what are we doing um and it's like you know when you get in that relationship um and i feel like you get a little too comfortable guys start to seek attention in other guys and it's like like they're not thinking about what it would do to us and it's like that's it's really fucked up it's, it's fucked up um i haven't had it happen to me i don't think i have i don't i don't think i have it had it happen to me but i would say it's that it's fucked up um i don't agree with it um yeah i don't i don't agree with it like it's something that you know needs to change like in society period because it's this this it's this little stereotype that you know like say if a girl was to cheat the the boy would be done over and done with it but these girls they constantly take them back and they constantly like forgive and forgive and forgiving and keep getting hurt and the shit is fucked up and it's like you know you doing all of this or whatever and you're not caring about how the way i fucking feel but it's like you know the sh the 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 um the issue i mean yeah it's not reciprocated it's not reciprocated like it's like okay if i go out and maybe even flirt or maybe even text someone you going upside my head or you pissed the fuck off whatever but you going out here texting sleeping kissing all of this shit and it's like damn like this is what i get like it's fucked up to me it's fucked up okay the next one is loneliness um that's something I feel like that is something that your inner self have to work on um yeah at times you get lonely and you feel like no one is in your corner or you feel like no one is like support like supporting you and stuff like that but i feel like you have to find your common ground as y'all know i always stay by myself i love being by myself you never see no one basically in a car with me um i'm always riding by myself yes i do have my friends but my friends have their own lives some of them are one of two of them are married um three of them have kids you know stuff like that so they have their own stuff that they be going on i don't find myself being lonely because i have you guys i have my plus gang you know who i talk to i have you know my friends that i call on facetime every now and then then I have YouTube. I just go on YouTube and watch a couple of YouTube videos. You know, I dance. You got to find your thing that you like, your niche. You got to find, like, something that you love. So, the so to where it won't feel so lonely. Um, and once you are in a relationship, I feel like, you know, you still should have those moments when you just going out and doing, like, have a girl's night. Have a girl's day to yourself. You still have to have that independency because it's like once you out of a relationship, you feel so lonely, you feel so down, you feel like you need somebody. No, it's not the case. It's all in your head. I feel like it's all to me. I feel like it's all in your head. You don't need no one to say you beautiful. You don't need no one to buck you up. Yeah, it's very comforting and it's very like, yeah, like I fucking like this feeling. But you got your friends, you got your parents, you got fucking you you got you like you have to it's something that uh, you in the inside have to work on okay um i have one two three four four more questions um guys wanting to have sex for the first day or over hype hypersexual i have a thing about that i don't like that at all i don't like it i don't fuck with it i just 
I just don't like I don't like that shit like can we talk about like can we talk about something else like don't fucking come at like y'all I really beat this shit don't fucking come at me with that fucking say love or or like you know saying dumb shit like you you um what was it somebody text somebody told me this what, what, what they had what they said um they basically what, she, what he said he said um you um what you doing tonight you you want me to come over there and um no what you doing tonight you um you want to come slide through and keep me company fuck no i don't even know you i don't even know you don't come at like it's a better way to approach someone yeah in a yeah eventually you will get to that stage but goddamn like bitch you that fucking horny like god like i hate that shit y'all i really really do like don't come at me with no fucking sex shit but you don't know if i have fucking herpes you don't know if i have some type of and i don't i don't i don't at all but you don't know you don't know me like what the fuck like people just be going out here fucking and in it everybody like that's that's really fucking crazy it's really fucking crazy to me like what the fuck like that i don't like it i don't like it so that's that's my that's my you know i had to touch on it because i didn't like it okay girls wanting more in a relationship than guys um yeah i said this previously is basically like they don't care about our feelings and you give them more than what they giving you and i feel like either you cut them off or you slack back from what you're doing and i about to learn this this lesson right now but it's with a friend it's with a friend i call my sister but um yeah i'm about to check somebody in a in the next maybe hour hour and a half i'm about to check someone about this shit but um but yeah i feel yeah um people been telling me to like if if you doing more than them in a relationship you either slack off or just cut them off period slack off of what you're doing um and eventually they'll come around if they value your friendship or if they value y'all relationship boy or girl 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 a boy boy it don't matter um yeah a brazilian wax um i've been wanting to get a brazilian wax i really have been wanting to and eventually i will get it i just gotta hype myself up i gotta hype myself up a little and then you know i'm gonna get it i'm a little nervous i ain't gonna lie but i have been um looking up places in like metairie or like wherever wherever i be at to get it like i just been looking at places i'm just nervous i'm nervous but eventually i will get it my last little topic um the last topic uh it was talking about first time hurting um <laughs> i'm guessing that it's talking about sex or whatever um my first time yes it hurt it i would say please wait i waited i waited and i'm glad i waited i already i kind of knew what was going to happen that night and i i mean i wanted this to happen but it did hurt um it did hurt i'm not gonna lie but you get used to it you get used to it as time you know fly you know as time progress or whatever case may be but it does hurt um and yeah like that's all i can say about that but y'all i do have like a story time on like my first time so if y'all want to hear that y'all can just put it down in the comments down below um i will briefly touch on it yes i have had sex already yes um but i am of age it, and that is for my 18 plus people um and i think pretty much people the people that watch me is pretty older people but um but yeah so i hope you guys liked the video i hope you guys enjoyed the video i love y'all and stay tuned for the next clip i love y'all plus gang 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 you gonna let me come through this bitch Bow.